Hello, my YouTube family. Ooh, my lighting just automatically changed. Of course, just when I start taping, that's when the lighting decides to change on me. Oh, look who it is. Male. He loves the bills. He just doesn't like to pay the bills. Okay, people. It's going to be a long day for me. I, you would think I, it's over, right? No, it's not over. At around about an about an hour and a half from now, Pop and I have to go back out. We have a family dinner. His nephew is in town, his nephew and his wife. And since his nephew's daughter is my cousin, we're all going to go, at least we're going to go out to dinner. They're not coming here. We're going to Havana Central. I made the reservations. It's because she lives out in Long Island, so they're staying with her. So out in Long Island, it's a central midpoint for all of us. <sighs> but I am so tired. You know when I just, you know when you just want to go get home and just stay home, but then you know you have to go back out. It's not like when you were a teenager and when you were in your early twenties. Like you would finish going to work, go home, change into your sexy outfit, go out with your girls, or go out with your boyfriend. No. Those days have come and gone. I just like to go home and stay home and watch some TV, have some dinner, and call it a night. But life is what it is, and it throws you a curve every now and then. So, I, oh, before I forget to tell you another disappointing bit of news. Well, not another bit of disappointing news, but disappointing for me. Um, I got an email from um, the, the, the catalog that I ordered, the shirt that I was telling you about, because I ordered a shirt and a pair of pants. The shirt is out of stock. And it would have been a nice melanie color just like this. Out of stock. Well, I can't really be too upset because I did order both of them from the clearance section. And you know sometimes the clearance section is the first thing to go. So at least the pants are coming. But they're just a pair of ordinary navy pants. There ain't nothing special about them. So I just wanted to fill you in. So this is about as melanie as you're going to see me. Okay, people, the lipstick. Well, um, first of all, it's not really even coming out the color. That's a little better. Sort of, kind of. The lipstick. I really don't remember. I think this, this came in a gift package of some sort. This is a miniature La Rouge Givenchy. Where did I get this from? I know I showed it to you. A Sephora order or something. My birthday Sephora gift. Could have been. I'm not sure. But it's a little, and it's a little miniature. And it slides out like that. And pop out goes the lipstick. And here's the lipstick. Cutesy. Very, very cute. See? See? Givenchy. Right there. There we go. Givenchy. And the color is 103 Brune Createur. Createur. And this is what it looks like, people. Yeah. It's kind of like, it doesn't even look like the color that's on my lips, really. It's kind of like a mauve. A deep mauve but it comes off as a melon I don't understand it it really this is what it looks like you see it comes off as a melon but when you look at it in the tube it looks like a brownish kind of a tan beige whatever the hell but this is the color there you go and it's kind of drying very disappointed about that. Staying power galore. But it is kind of, and it's not a matte. It's a cream. But it's a dry cream. I, I, I don't understand it. I really don't. Um, needless to say, since A is Givenchy, I would never purchase a Givenchy lipstick anyway. I don't think I have a Givenchy lipstick. This is like my only and first. <laughs> Way out of my price range. So... 
that's that. It went with the outfit. The liner is a no-name brand liner. New color. I don't know what this is. New color. Something, something. What does it say? Undeviating lip liner. And the color is sunburst red. But sunburst red is kind of like a corally like a red orange kind of a thing so I lined it and I failed it not happy I'm just I'm not just letting y'all know so of course I started off the Monday <laughs> what is up with my light my lighting okay maybe that'll do it here's your lipstick but I did get a bit of great news this morning oh great bit of ex news one of my ex-boyfriends because I'm Facebook friends with both of them that have married other people well the one that I was living with sent me a, a, a chat and filled me in on the fact that bitchmeister general got the boot Ding dong, the witch is dead, the witch is dead, the witch is dead. Ding dong, the wicked witch is dead. Oh, that was the best news ever. I know it's very, it's very bad of me to be happy for someone's now unemployment. But this woman caused me pain and grief and fired me for no damn reason. Other than the fact that she just didn't like me. So, for karma to finally, finally, because it finally got around, having her get the boot, how can I not be happy? How can I not? And I'm not even keeping a secret about it. I'm just bursting. Bursting. So, really? Do you see how big he is? And he's a weird cat. He's a weird cat. Because one minute he looks small. And the next minute he looks big. Like when he sits down. He looks small. When he stands up. He looks big. I don't know. But this time I am not going to forget to leave lights on for him. Because by the time we go. By the time we leave it's going to already. It's already getting dark now. So by the time we come back, it'll be pitch black. So I'm definitely going to remember to leave lights for him this time. I already put the living room light on. so And the, this light will obviously stay on. So he'll have light. And I just gave him new food. New food. I mixed it with the old food. The old food was this morning. And I put new food on top. He's playing in the living room. And I thought the new food was going to look exactly like the old food and he wouldn't be able to tell the difference. The new food is a weight control food. And the, the, the old food are like little small, little round, little, you know, little small dry cat food. This new food is in a triangular. So he'll eat, and they're big, so he'll be eating a hell of a lot less which I guess is where the weight control comes in. He'll be eating a whole lot less. This bag is gonna last me the rest of the month, I hope. But we'll see how it goes because I mixed it with the old food, so. Because I finished the old bag today, early this morning for his breakfast. And I said, oh, okay, I'm gonna start the new food. But um, I let him finish the old food, let him enjoy his breakfast and if he's hungry enough, he'll eat. It's enough he doesn't eat wet food. He'll eat this dry food. It's from the same brand. It's the same brand, but one wasn't a weight control. The other one is a weight control because he's getting a little pudgy. But I've noticed that he he's sort of slimming a little bit since I've changed the bowls. Remember I told you I changed his food bowl? His water bowl is now his food bowl, and I put his water in a different bowl because the water bowl was very small. 
So now he's eating a lot less. Yes. Came back. I like to play with his tail. I don't pull it or anything. I just kind of. And he purrs all the time. We do this little nose thing. Like I'll give him this finger and he'll move in. And kiss, kiss. Love, love. That's usually what I say. Love, love. And he knows exactly what I'm talking about. And he'll just you know, go boop. There you go. I wish I could show you, but he's on the floor being very dramatic. So, maybe when he's on the bed next time. I think I showed it to you. I did it to, last time he was on the bed. But that's our new thing. So that's it, people. It was a good day, but it was, it's, unfortunately, it's not over. I can't release the sisters. Because you know that's another thing I like to do. As soon as I'm done uploading, when I start to upload, when I'm done you know, videotaping and I'm ready to upload, honey, I am changing into my, well, now it's it's kind of summer fall comfy cozies. I still put the summer comfy cozies on. But, um, yeah, the sisters, they are released and they're free. No, not now. They won't be free until about 10 o'clock at night when I finally get home. 10, 10, 30, somewhere around there. Pop and I will be probably coming into the house around 10.30, quarter to 11, 11 o'clock, somewhere around there. Because the dinner the dinner reservation is for 8 o'clock. Now, you know they're just not going to sit us down and immediately. They'll, we have to wait for a table and blah, blah, blah. And so, then there's the whole parking situation. But it is Havana Central. I'm going to have my empanadas, my tostones, my tostones, tostones. And my motto, the same thing I had the last time I was at, the very first time I was at Havana Central. Food is delicious. And all three are appetizers. Because the, the actual dishes, dishes, they're not, they're not wowing me. So I'll have three appetizers as my meal. And I'll call it a day. Empanadas, tostonos, tostones. I keep calling them tostonos for some reason. Tostonos, tostones. And moro. Empanadas are those, you know, empanadas. It's a, yeah, it's a, like, you know, they're beef patties. There we go. Beef patties, but not Jamaican. These are Cuban slash Haitian because Cuban and Haitian food are pretty much very quite similar. And uh, tostones are fried plantains. And moro is rice and beans. So there we go. I'm very happy. Um, my mouth is watering already. I loved Havana Central. Love it. So this is my father's first time going to be there. So hopefully he'll be very pleased with the food too. And I hope everybody else enjoys the food as well because I am the one that made the reservation. So my cousin, she said she was very excited. She's like, who? Good, Havana Central. I've never been there. I want to go. I'm like, oh, okay, fine. We'll go. We'll go. Yes, I am older than she is. What else is new, right? Okay, people, I'm tired. I need to just, just lay down for a little bit or watch something to hold me up. Have a drink of some sort to, to keep me perky because I'm doing the driving, going and coming back because he popped on nowhere to go. I know where to go. So that's it, people. That's all I have for you. It was a good day. Cutie started school. He said he had me rolling this morning. He was like all excited to come and talk to me this morning. He's like, I have to tell you what happened this weekend. I said, oh, okay. Very excited. He said, I started my algebra class. And I said, oh, good. How was it? He goes, did you know that the very first problem took me two hours to do? I was like, excuse me? He goes, I was so determined to do this problem because there was a point where I got really stuck and I was just, I was going to just quit. I was just going to say, forget this. I'm dropping the class. I said, now see. He goes, no, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I said, okay. He said, but it took me two hours, Nancy, to do just problem number one. I said, well, how many problems did you have? He said, eight. I said, well, how many problems did you do? He said, six. He said, well, there were two that I really 
there was no way. I'm like, okay. I said, look, you got to cut yourself some slack because it's been a number of years since you've been in a classroom doing this kind of math. So you're kind of rusty. You got to, you know, wipe off the cobwebs and this is what you're doing now. So if it took you two hours to do the very first problem, don't beat yourself up for it. Shoot, I'm the one that would have cut the class. I would have just said, screw this. I'll take another major that has nothing to do with math at all, whatsoever. So he was very, very happy that, you know, very proud of himself. And I told him that I was proud of him, too. And he gets very, he gets very happy when I tell him that I'm proud of him. Like, you know, I'm proud of you. And he's like, he gets all smiley. And I'm like, oh, brother. So, yeah. So there's that. So he was very proud of himself, and I was very proud of him. And he said, in my science class, I said, oh, Lord. I said, yeah, that's right. You have a chemistry class. He said, yes. I have to, I have to buy, um, we have to wear, uh, like, those white coats, like, you know, doctor coats. And um, we have to have, wear those plastic glasses. I said, ooh, you're really going to start something. You're going to really start, I mean, if you're wearing safety glasses in a, he said, yeah, we have to do it. It's a requirement. I said, oh, okay, well, you know. So I told him, <laughs> I told him the, the right before he left for the rest of the day, I said, you know what you could do for me? For Christmas, this is what you could do for me. You could make me a volcano that actually erupts. He goes, well, isn't that just, he said, isn't that just baking soda and baking soda and something? And I said, oh, seriously? He goes, yeah, Nancy, you could really do it yourself. I was like, oh, but I, you know, I, I thought you would be able to do it for me. Oh, Lord, I'm going through this cat crazy. So then from that conversation, it changed to um, the Mentos. You know, that expect, go on YouTube. You'll see, there's a whole bunch of videos of kids dropping Mentos in Coke bottles and it explodes. He said, that could be your volcano. I said, yes, yes, it could. That said, thank you very much. So that was that with that upon that. So that's it, people. That is all I have to tell you. I am, you know, it's it may match the shirt and all of that, but I'm not, I'm not thrilled. This is a possible lurk of Possible, because I really don't like it. I mean, I really do not like it. I was trying to like it. I really was. I was. But I don't. I don't see me wearing this again. So that's that. With that. Upon that. Okay, people. Say a prayer for me. Wish me luck. Because you see my. All my eyes want to do is just this. And I just want to go to sleep. But it is what it is. So. That's that. Have a good evening yourselves. And uh, fill me in. Let me know what you think. Hit me up. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Okay? And I'll fill you in on everything. So, okay? I hope everybody had a good weekend. Mine was very, very good. Accomplished some housework that, that really needed to get done. And I'm very proud of, my, of myself for that. So, now he's sitting on the window. So, okay. I will talk to you tomorrow. I love you. Bye now.